Hello YouTube, welcome to the CCL final season 41. It's terrific 1k versus Andy Davo. We started off with the Throne Rock KOing a uh, Black Hawk. Will we see a Power Apple here turn one? No, surprising. Um, uh, genuinely surprising. Uh, I, that might may well have been worth an Apple straight away. It's a Pom Frenzy Guard Ga Black Hawk. I, I wouldn't have. I agree, and you have still haven't introduced me yet. So yeah, that's so important uh, that Apple. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes, I mean I, I was <laughs> I, I was I was getting round to it, but I was just shocked. Um, and in the booth with me is Fimey. Hello. <laughs> Hello everybody, we're here to watch the final here, the play of the final between Andy Davo and uh, Trifi Fiki. <laughs> and yes, the, the, the power up over there, the only reason I don't see the point of using it now is because so early and you have to endure the LOS hits and the blitz and uh, something like that, that is maybe, maybe you want to protect maybe the AG4 player or any other player, but rough call, rough call, I mean. Uh, very unlucky they're getting a rock just uh, like it's, it's a hard decision to make in 15 seconds yes. isn't it that's the thing yes because now you uh, that's that was obviously that was going to be probably the target of the blitz that the black orc and now someone else is gonna get the blitz and there's cheney there are claw involved so yeah and it's the dirty player as well so you might apple and then he might just get fouled out anyway so um, no, I just um, think I think the apple is one of the worst things about the 15 second thing. You know, like it, a lot of the times an apple can be game deciding, and the fact you've only got 15 seconds on it is sometimes a bit a bit much. I would rather have like you know your disconnect timer or whatever, some kind of pool that you could use to make big decisions like that. Anyway, um, try is down TV. He's got a wizard and Cheney, and he's got loads of players on the bench, but obviously they're unskilled zombies. Um, he's got a bunch of guard, quite a lot of guard for Necro here. Uh, five guard? Six guard. Six guard. Um, a really good wolf, move nine, edge four, blood step. Um, Cheney, of course, is very good. And then Andy Devo has a, just an absolute monster team, like about nine guard, I think. Loads of mighty blow, piling on, tackle, stats. It's ridiculous, just, ridiculous team. Just a thing, if you check the research of Andy Devo, the leader player is away from the pitch. He <laughs> can afford to put, you know, he's losing a reroll because <laughs> the rest of the team is so good. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a thrower as well. There's no space for him, is there? He's got to have three lines yeah, or exactly. something. Yeah, well, that's true, that's true, yeah. <laughs> It's confirmed, but we've already had. Oh man, don't be dicks. Um, <laughs> Pezzle. Okay, there are going to be some in, in jokes here from the. Uh... Yes, the, 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 the general comments where uh, there was a lot about the, the wizard and use of. Yeah, so, so of course, Tri's got a wizard. I mean, look, Tri's really good at Blood Bowl. Um, he's won CCL before, and we all know he's really good. He knows that his team is a lot worse than Andy's, right? He knows that. He's not stupid. Um, so to win, his you know he's not he's not going to get given the ball on on offense on like on on his defense. So to win the ball, he's going to have to win the game. He has to use the wizard to turn over Andy Davo to 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 win because he's not going to win in overtime because he's going to get banged out. He's obviously going to get banged out. Look at all the mighty blow, all the guard. This is only going one way. Like it, it's inevitable, basically. So he has to save his wizard for his defensive drive. As much as he'd be tempted, well, the fact that he's having to receive now. If he'd kicked and turned over and he was, you know, he's one up or whatever, then yes, he can use it on his offense. But no matter how bad his offense gets, he's gonna basically have made the decision before the match starts that he's not using it. He has to use it to turn over um, because he has to win in normal time because he's on a clock. You know, this is this is a monster orc team. Absolutely yes. ridiculous. Positionals of the Necro will be replaced but usually zombies in a regular basic. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think he's going to be able to keep the 11 players the whole game because regen is a thing, but... Pfft. Yeah, player quality is... And, and he's not going to keep them on the pitch for the whole game, is he? That's the thing. Like, even if they regen, he's still going to go down men's yeah. each drive. Like, that's basically inevitable. It's, it's a brutal team. And it's not inevitable because obviously there's dice involved and he's he's made the KO off the off the rock and, and you know stuff like that. But Yes, and that was the only good thing that came from the, the turn because he didn't uh, get absolutely anything else. Yeah. The lowest hits or anything. Yeah. Hmm. 
Mandatory fouls, I mean, having 16 players at this team, you have to foul or use the dirty player as much as possible. Yeah, as much as you don't really like fouling Armour 9, um, there's no choice, obviously. He has, to, he, has to, he has to try and get lucky. He has to, he has to like, high push, push his luck, doesn't he? Yeah, he has to high yes. roll. Needs to get the extra hit there. Yeah. And that's the shit that you have a strength for guard the blitzer there is like where are you gonna be able to find hits against this team? Yeah. Hello Flicky. Yeah, so like, exactly yeah. you can absolutely you know guard lock and stuff. He overcommitted a little bit there, hasn't he? Well that character in there left this week. Very weak. He's opening the red card. Wow. Leaving the door open, completely door open. You got the side, wow. take the side. That's weird. I, I don't like that. I think uh, Andy's team is so strong that he, can, uh, he will cover the whole pitch. Yeah, I hate that. Like, we've seen him do it in the other games, you know. Um, but then yes, yes. in those, there was the aspect of, like, chalice equity, you know. Like, wants to keep his players alive, doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to take hits and everything. But now there's there's no... Further games, is there? He's all in on, like, you know, both players are all in on this game. It's the only game that matters. It's the last game both teams are playing. And leaving this space uh, seems terrible. <laughs> if you ask me, like, that's maybe a bit extreme, but this is like. You know, it's like, like okay, you want to score. Try to score, I'm going to beat down all the players you left behind, but it's Necro, they regen, and it's like. And Trific is going to do any sacrifice necessary to uh, win the game. Yeah. He doesn't care if he all, you know, he ends the game with two zombies on the pitch. He wins. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a lot. That was a lot of uh, a lot of forward progress there. Yeah, no. and like you don't need to do that because it's not as if like you know you can use your frenzy to threaten the sidelines and he took away that threat, didn't he, by going so far in? Yes. I mean, maybe that was his idea. You know, maybe his, his idea is this is trap space, so he lets him get through there, and then oh, he'll go, close down. Going for the lovely for the lovely chain pushes and all that. Yeah, but, but the problem with terrific team, he has a more. They has you know stand firm in a, more than a few players, so the. The white and the flesh golem that are next to the ball, more or less, you know, uh, cancel any chance of any shenanigans. Yeah, it's weird. I mean, he's got juggernaut, though, hasn't he, on, on the blitzers? But it's weird. It's 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 weird to just allow allowing that much. Like when he's got movement nine and edge four as well. Like he's in scoring range now, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> Team bash. I, I don't like it. If he has chances, you know, uh, do one turner with another race or something, they're like, okay, you just keep it easy, keep it quiet, you know, avoid trouble. You are your chance of the one turner, and then you get the ball. All right, but here, ah. And Geofine to there. He's not shutting anything down, so it's basically pointless to Geofine. And he's basically wasted a, wasted a reroll there. Like, this is. I'm not really understanding. This play. I understood it in the previous games because it was like, you know, there's match equity. Uh, there's match equity and there's chalice equity, right? I understood that. This seems very, uh, very dodgy. Could he have blocked? Could he have blocked that guy with him? Yep. And then he could have had the. I would have much preferred to block him and get the uh, goal free. Oh, but you get the one dice power there that way, you know. That's all right. But this is uh, easy ball base, isn't it? And Cheney getting hit, which. Yes. There you go. Frenzy doing a thing. Cheney survives. Price. Dear was gonna slam in as hard as he can now. Which like it's okay, it's okay giving them the space if they can't stall it out, isn't it? Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's not 
it's not terrible. Um, but yeah, that's the thing, Steve, right? Against this Orc team, I'm just happy if I can score at any point. <laughs> Like, like, yes, you'd rather not, but the chance of you scoring at all is is not I is oh, not great. Big KO there, big yeah. KO for the Orcs because now another Black Orc is free. Just goes the jump up block. Gets the cast. Big cast Every well. single time flicky. Every single time <laughs> flicky. Block guard, fan. That was a really good zombie. That was a really good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Really, yep. Yeah. So. Strength 4 and strength 5 are basically impossible to dislodge. This is an edge 4 blodger. Oh, dodge, go tackle. It's got the team ring. Really Roll. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, one in thirty-six, eh? Yeah, I mean that is that is very very rough. Like, you could argue that maybe he could have, you know, had the ball on the sideline somehow and then like double double screened um, the previous turn, um, or he could he could have maybe tried to free up this ghoul to come in for more support. But um, you know, at the end of the day, when your worst case scenario is you edge four getting based, <laughs> it's not usually punished, is it? <laughs> So I think that's. I think that's having fun. a roll and all that is like fine. Yeah. I think the plan was a score, then uh, recover, steal the ball with the wizard, and go, you know, 2 nil half time, and with more enough of a team. But now the plan, I think, has changed. Oof. Huge hit. So I'm not going for this hit rather than that hit. Interesting. So I'm not trying to clear the, the not trying to clear tackle zones. Just uh, just clear the area a bit. Oh, okay, we're going for two plus dodge. <laughs> makes it. And um, I might make a seat. Ah, perfect scatter for the orcs. Nearly purple, yeah. Yeah, very good scatter. Zones, yeah, in four tackle zones, it's that's pretty, that's pretty bloody good, yeah. And try down three, two, only two players still. I guess they go down one. So. I can feel the people asking for the wizard here, but I squarely. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the wizard now would be insane. And this, I mean, this is rough, isn't it? This is a one into an uphill. This is yes. desperation times for Fry. But he, the looker dog, <laughs> gets some good rolls there. And it was, I mean, it wasn't that unlikely to, to for that to succeed, was it? And it was essential. To no, it was only one uh, red dice, not the end of the war. This, uh, this position here. It's a bit I don't know. I, I think is that ball is not safe. I think maybe Andy finds a way of hitting that wall. But yeah, I mean, there's hitting it, but there's also hitting it into a subsequent hit from this guy, isn't it? This is what I'd be scared of here. No, but there's another one that has a sidestep. Oh, it's not the oh, he sidestep. He yes. sidestep. It's okay. Disregard. This is perfect because he gets a sidestep to here, which is which is glorious. So yeah, so Andy will hit the other wall. <laughs> Strength five one. So oh, this is big. Yep, that's huge. Doesn't regen. Strength four. So three guard off guard, the pitch. Block, two permanent. Three guard over the pitch. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, he's got a couple of players free, so he gets to three dice in. Without tackle, but with friends. Gets the pal. Double GFI to sandwich him, but even that isn't that good, is it? It's still just a 3-3-2 to score. 
Ooh, I wonder if he should have dodged to put tackle on. Like dodged double geified or something. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that maybe that tackle should be useful somewhere else, but now you have the E4 there. Ah, he was doing it with the H4, yeah. And that I4 fail every single thing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's only one player here. Only it would be utterly insane. Well, I, I hate this roll, by the way. I hate this roll. I, well, I mean, the, not the dice roll, the uh, the GFI. Like, hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? Because that's a that's like a naked two plus. I don't like. I don't like it to be honest. I think you know you need your reroll for this three three two. Um. Yeah, I, d I don't know. I hate that GFI. I, I don't know exactly what the traffic was I mean, join marking the, the Black Orc. I guess in case he fails the pickup and stuff, but like, this ghoul could have tagged him. Like, you know, he could have moved this lineman first, and this ghoul could have tagged this line off. And then this zombie can tag that guy anyway, if you just want him tagged. See, that is, yes, the tag is done by that one. Or? Yeah, he did get rid oh, of the six. one in nine. To be fair, the dice rolls proved try right. Because he rolled, he rolled a one and a two, and then he needed a three plus dodge and made it. And then a three plus oh well, if that's the case, if that's the case. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna move the black hawk right, but then changed your mind after the reroll was gone, right? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Then dodge out on a two plus. Your rolls now. Fleshy stays out. Bad day, a bad day to be. Uh, but only two turns for the orcs. Yep. But, but no with an extra system. roll. Yeah. With an extra roll for Andy because now the Mr. Throw is on the pitch, leading, leading the massive. <laughs> yeah, the glorious leader, Mr. Throw. <laughs> Um, and he's got an edge four guy, hasn't he? He's got an edge four yes. receiver, but um, and Try has none of his stand firm <laughs> strength four guys to cover the sides. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, rather unfortunate. He still has eleven, though, obviously, because of the insane. Oh, the eldest, the eldest amount of zombies. Jeff, <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Five. Jesus. <laughs> he does have one stun firm to stay there, but there is a juggernaut, isn't there? So yes, uh, there is a juggernaut. So I still think it's probably better to just go through Cheney because Cheney's like a good player. But then I guess if you go down that way, there's the better, the better wolf is there, isn't it? It's interesting. Decision which way to go. I think I'll go for the white. You managed to take him out, that guard, stand firm. Yeah. And you can pom him as well, because then you hit him with a juggernaut. Because if you hit him chain, you probably want to do it with the strength of the So as to not need assists. That's a nice, that's a nice kick. Yeah, so he's doing it with strength from me. Gets his scoring threats down the pitch. Running like the wind. <laughs> and Johnny, there is a history of Spaniards cheating, getting caught. <laughs> Nobody knows how many cheaters are already in Blood Bowl. Fun is where they, they got caught. That's true, yeah. Italians are well known as the worst cheats. They just never get caught. <laughs> it's a joke, by the way. Oh, he just killed him. Oh, the lens is dead. <laughs> Lingard is free. <laughs> <laughs> what a time to be alive. So, yeah, obviously he's got the edge four there as the main scoring threat. Oh, oh no, that... Mr. Throw. <laughs> Mr. Those Throw. Those wolves, those wolves are... Close by the movement nine can reach. 
Oh, the ball, yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, you could, you could tag the ball. That's not a bad idea, I guess, if you can uh, blitz this guy and then it's just a 2 plus through, isn't it? He's not got no rerolls, though. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like you have many other options. Uh, oh, oh there you go. There's that was the good idea. I think I think that was the plan. What the plan was put there the mm. move that one, blitz with the wolf, base the ball. Yeah, base the ball seems all right actually because then it's super hard for him to get the ball to anybody, isn't it? Yeah, I think I you are, you are basing the ball with a blotch step, so that could have been perfectly the game there. Yeah. Whereas now the one D fails, the edge four is in range, the lineman's here. It's looking pretty bad for try. Very difficult to, you know, to try to stop this orc team to advance. I mean, there is a lot of roles involved here. Pass, catch, handoff. Yeah. Easy rolls. I wonder what the plan was there from try to try and stop anything. So Very difficult to stop there anything. because but you need to put skull. players in both sides. <laughs> yeah. But like with the first dice being a skull, you, you can't really like work out what his plan was, can you? But uh, I think I think I like yeah, base in the ball as 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 bad as base in the ball is. Um, Cheney could put himself up. Yeah. It seems like base in the ball was the best play there. I think. With blotch step, basing the ball with blotch step, and there are no players in target to blitz that wolf, you know, yeah. tackle or anything like that. Yeah. See, terrific. Yeah, there you go, that was, the, that, that was the play. Getting the asshole wolf there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you could move you could move the other wolf to cover and avoid the getting assists from the other players in the LOS. And that orc. Still you know, that, up, that power up, eh? that power up now, oh, yeah. oh, 3k your rolls fail, but can't complain because uh, <laughs> we had much, much worse regen pick a skill. Yep, yep, all three regions failed, not that one of them mattered at all, but uh, two out of two failed, and uh, the other fleshy is finally come back. So not down too much quality. I mean, it's obviously it's quite impactful, isn't it? Two, a third of your guard is is off the field, <laughs> but yeah. uh, it's not too bad just being down the flesh. But the meanwhile, really the four and the wizard are there is a very dangerous game for Andy. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's the thing, right? Like it's yes, he's going to be like his team is a massive favor in every game. Like his team is so much better than everyone he plays, but um, everyone's got a wizard. And everyone's good at blood ball, and everyone has some edge for and some chance, haven't they? Um, I mean, you can blitz with Taney to open a spot more or less anywhere, and then move the edge for. So it's like uh, the tools are there. The problem, there is only two of them. Yes. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. It's, like it's yeah. <laughs> he hasn't got. He's got limited tools. He's basically all in on the wizard and the edge for. And Cheney can do things, but it's even hard for Cheney to even get two dice blocks right with all these guards around. Yes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, the, we, the guard that the Trifigi has left has the chance using a using a Cheney to try to get two dice somewhere. Mm -hmm. Running around for the blocks maximizations thanks to the person. Piling on, fake skill. <laughs> yeah. CNI setting up the servers for Blood Bowl 2020. <laughs> Only one stun off the LOS is nice for try. So, I mean, this ball is a bit, a bit dodgy, isn't it? Do you think... Uh, it... Uh... 
like it's it's a bit dodgy. It's it's not actually, but it's a bit dodgy. And there could even like you know you've got to think about the wizard every turn, haven't you? There could be a fireball here. I wouldn't have hit it. Just a fireball here. Honestly. Yes, because if you take it down, yes, any of them, or else you go disordered. Yeah. Like either of these, if you bo even balding him right, and then just blitz him through, and then you could just put your whole team through, and it's a nightmare for Devo. Uh, there's there's options, and like you know, obviously they've both got to think about the wizard every single turn, haven't they? Because that's uh, that is tries big chance. Yeah, I mean that's the, the the Mr. Throw there is to avoid the fireball, which I think is a little unnecessary. You could have moved uh, him in another position that gives you a less tasty fireball and closer to your own players yeah but that, i mean you know there's four players stranded over here I, that i think that was a, possibly a great wizard chance there yeah yeah indeed coffee yeah yeah and, and that's how i've seen him play pretty much every chalice game that i've seen him play to be honest with bash teams and anyway. what shit dice oh there, so. wrestle there next next to the dirty player yeah, that was really shit dice from Jamie. But so try had that kind of idea of going around that with that guy, but maybe it could have not blitzed him with Cheney because like obviously you want Cheney around that kind of area, but then you don't really want Cheney to be doing hits because he hasn't got. Them. But yeah, maximizing hits and getting all of these, you know, this frenzy that's piling on this mighty blow. You know, maximizing hits here is going to cause a lot of damage. You would expect. Instant pile. <laughs> I don't know it's a replay, but still. <laughs> it's still being an instant pile. Right, a lot of pile on, a lot of blocks, but not much results here for Andy. Well, that's a lot of stuns. Okay, that's three players out for the next turn. Yeah, that's three stuns. That's pretty that's pretty good. Ball could come up here. Three stuns is pretty like you can't expect it has every turn, can you? And what's this chaining malarkey about here? Oh, the jump up clears that he's got jump up, so clears the yes. jump up block. This hard the team to take down that our black orc. Oh, look at this! Oh, 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 oh action here! Double cheer if I miss the ball. <laughs> ball is bases, but now, yeah, boy, I mean, it's the joke of ball is bases, but now you have to do something about that because Chain is strength four. Yep. And yes, you have seven million players, but. Well, you get the problem, that's pretty okay. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't pom him. Wow. Interesting. Interesting random pile on there. Random zombie gets hit as uh, they, are, they are expected to, to die. Yeah. Mm. So you can just stay central here. Or he can uh, hang the ball carrier over here, completely unsupported. Interesting decision. And uh, I watched this live, and he didn't run out of time. And he thought this was the best square. He ended turn, this blitzer here. And I think, did the move. Yeah, he didn't. He, he ended the turn with this blitzer. He thought this was the best square, and I think this blitzer, it just definitely wasn't the best square for this blitzer. Oh, I, I think, think put him somewhere else. I think that blitzer that is. Nothing. Yeah, that's what I think. 
but you know. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't pile on. I don't know why I didn't pile on. That. Um, I would have piled on. It's Cheney, isn't it? And I ha I hate this ball over here. I think you just stay central, right? You've got you've got players around now. You're totally unsupported. And even if like, well, I mean, there could be a chain. Could chain the wolf onto the ball here. Um, although this this guy does have card. Could chain the wolf onto the ball. Um, there's options. There's wizard, obviously. There's all sorts of options. He's Mr. Throw, not Mr. Banana. Brilliant. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't like the just hanging out. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, I was AFK and then I came back to this and I was like, why is. So I watched the replay to see that this guy. Oh, lucky powder. Big standard. Yep. The old 1D blitz, pal. <laughs> and then double GFI. Disgustorous. But yeah, I mean, you know, like, there's a bit of luck here from, from Tri, but... Dave but nothing crazy. Yeah, nothing and, crazy. I mean, you know, like, he was had to rule five sixes or something like that. Yeah, you've got four players in contact with Cheney, and you've got a guy here... And then you move your ball carrier over here completely unsupported. This was a huge mistake, I think, from under last turn. And now it's just kind of like damage control. Four orcs want Cheney exclusively on all these. It's only yeah, I read and I thought this was a pretty terrible turn. Also, I would have I would have followed with this guy and then moved this guy through and stuff. I would have just I would have like, just kept it safe in here, right? Well, there's oh, Cheney out, Rienz, but still yeah. out for this half. He could hand Which off to could... the edge four, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. He could hand off to the edge four, um, but he's just going to try and run back into the cage. One in nine. Is the one in nine coming? Is Mr. Throw it doing is. a Mr. Throw? <laughs> there you go. Wow. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> there is a, a chance that maybe Trific is able to get the ball. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, there is a chance. There is a chance that he's got all of these players free or nearly free. And, you know, if he can get the ball, he can just run away here as well. Like There's, there's a real running away opportunity here. There's only this edge four player. Um, the edge, the edge four. He could have handed off the edge four. This edge four that came back here, he could have run and handed off. Yeah. Um, but obviously, wouldn't have got Mister Throw isolated like that in the first place. Was would have been the best idea. Because there was all sorts could have happened there. You know, like the wizard could have come out and and everything. Like, oh, now he finally power apples on turn well, twelve. It's, it, I think it's the only other uh, cast that he had. That yeah, was worth removal. Stopping. The only other removal. The only removal, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing, like, you know, it, and that that's why I would have appled the first one, because obviously he's got... Ooh, fails the pickup, rolls a one. So okay. no re-roll. So yeah, he changes tack. I think I think if Tri had kept the re-roll, I think maybe he would have potatoed here, because he could have... Uh, he could have got the wolf round because there was only this edge four that was a threat. Yeah, and uh, you know, potato and uh, maybe even punt the ball, you know, a little farther because it's turn 14, turn, no, turn 13 for the orcs. Yeah. Oh, this was a stun though as well, wasn't this? was a removal and then for a stun, so it is actually quite safe to run back. I, I like the idea of just like kind of potatoing, but. I'm not sure. This is, I mean, this is safer, isn't it? The problem is, this is safer, but like. How many players has he got on the field? You know, let's have a look. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's still got, he's still got nine, but he is down Cheney and a Flesh Golem, whereas Dave was only down a, a Black Orc. So, um, yeah, it's, that's interesting, isn't it? I, I think I think I like the run down the field first and then try and, like, you know, get support around I, I think, I think, uh, well, I think that Trific, they say that I think it's interesting that 
Andy has been focused on trying to reduce the effect of the wizard all the game to minimize the wizard. And Trific is trying to minimize the chains and the pull, the chain uh, pushes from uh, Andy all the game. Because it's not the first time that yes, the Trific runs one die blocks. Yeah, that's true. For uh, try to avoid that, which I think is a good idea. I mean, uh, you don't want to give any space to a team like the Orcs. Yeah. <laughs> Another one down. Yeah, so like again, you know, like I, I but yeah, with the reroll gun, the pickups, I don't know whether Tri's initial reaction was to run back here or whether his initial thing was to run through. But I think running through would have been better with the reroll. Now he's just got a one day blitz, hasn't he? Because you know, he's kind of just got to try and run through here. Just not having the players, he's getting players stunned every single turn. He's had. You know, he's got nine players in the field, but he's only got seven to activate, and he's had yeah. players done most, most turns anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I couldn't even think about this turn. Yeah, yeah. This, there's oh. absolutely no option this turn. Oh, but dodge there, man. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Necessary, mandatory. That uh, I like. I like a lot that the uh, good. Uh, and now Andy's in a whole world of problems here, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, that, that guard there is huge. Can't can't hit the ball. Like, can't even do a dodge in. That was really important GFIs there, actually. Oh, doing the GFIs. Mm, not blitzing with him. He's gone for it. I think that black yes, the black orc is going there looking for action. Oh going for the serve, of course he is. But it is a frenzy trap. Has to use the real one. Yes. And uh, I have to say this, I like this play. How it ended. It's yeah. like a yeah, my initial reaction was to blitz with the tackler here, but um, this yes, is... Yes, but putting the tackler there. there, you have the black orc there. I mean, where where does that wolf go now? <laughs> I mean, it certainly helps when you've got four more players than the opponent. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, that is a massive network of tackle zones, and the fact the bolt has come out into the black orc. Oh, oh, that one in nine hearts. Got to make more dice rolls. Oh, oh, Dutch! <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Throw! Nearly the hero of the day. Yep, and yep. There's only this tackle here. Is one, two, three. Oh, fuck off again. Not in range to hit. Yeah. That... I think. Uh, no, you have the. The. I hated leaving this guy up here. To be honest. The, the juggernaut. The that guy hasn't moved like in five turns. Yeah, yeah, he had to he had to dodge out and come back. Oh, oh now no. now it is. Now is uh, the juggernaut was probably the one that was closest to be able to get a block. I mean, he, he, these are these are both too far away, aren't they? So there's like all he can do is base him with tackle, and he's at four anyway, so. <laughs> um, that is. Oh, there's Mr. Throw. One, two, three, four, five, two, five. Oh, Mr. Throw can hit him, but without tackle. God. Oh my god, here we go! Mr. Here we Throw. go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a disaster! What a... Oh, lucky! Oh, lucky is Mr. Throw. <laughs> and that's it, I think. Uh, turn 15. I mean, he could just score here, couldn't he? Because there's only one turn left for the Orcs. Um, I mean, yes, two plus a score. That seems sensible. To cover, me. cover in case of the one in 36. But other than that, there you go. Yeah. That's your lesson, uh, boys and girls. <laughs> Don't fail one in 36. <laughs> yeah. Or fail them and then win anyway. 
Yeah, that's true, Dr. Feels bad. Maybe he should have run around a bit, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Lack of showballing. Um, so... Is there a one turn here? Not really. With whom? There are uh, three stand firms. Yeah, two stand firms. Sorry, two stand firms and a side step. Yeah. And he needs... Normal. Okay, good. You have you now. You can move one. <laughs> but he's movement six, so yeah, there's no one turn. So it's riot or nothing. Counting on the one in thirty-six. Yeah. And this black Hawk's still out. <laughs> still out. I mean, I don't think there's gonna be another player called CPL Carrot in uh, Andy's teams for a while. <laughs> No, oh, that was a uh, that was a very impactful um, throw of rock. But I do, I mean, I, I would have, I think I would have appalled it with it being the final, right? I think if it's not the final, you don't appal it. I think I would also will appal it just to get rid of the pressure of the apple here or apple there. Oh, you know what? Turn one. Okay, use it. That's it. Sorted. Yeah. yeah, because yes, he's got claw, but he hasn't got claw mighty, and it's hard for him to get two dice blocks. So, like, you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously can't say 100% because I can watch replays of my own games and say there's no way I'd do that. <laughs> but then I did it, you know. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Not and, even and a vanity play. pass from Mr. Throw, which is the MVP, obviously. <laughs> and Flicky. <laughs> Such realism that zombies like Flicky, you know. Nigel. Yeah, you got, you got right. So yes, second, second uh, chalice for Trifi. Congratulations. Yeah. Well deserved. Played very, very well in, uh, versus a team that was a fucking walking nightmare. <laughs> it was an absolute nightmare, wasn't it? 18 AV breaks. They didn't even seem to break AV that much and they still made 18. Um, yes, it was like at some point it was mental. It was like endless stuns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was loads of stuns, loads of cars, wasn't there? Five cars, which is... You know, basically what you expect against this Orc team, it's it's a really, yes. really brutal team. And, uh, well, uh, at least uh, Cheney Regen. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah. And Trific Finis managed to win the Chalice and defeat it. 18 yeah. uh, 18 or something like that? That's, that's, that's Jesus Christ. That's, yeah. that's a record there. Yeah, that is a to. to to Bezel's, to Bezel's knowledge, um, that is the only team that has ever won the chalice 92 92 percent in three chalices 92 12 1 <laughs> for um. god's sake <laughs> not bad eh? not bad Trific, you know if he qualifies he qualifies for real well Final or nothing a little bit yeah that that is the small issue um of of his alt <laughs> <laughs> oh, taco tortilla, but I have to respect that I'm a name like that. <laughs> but we don't acknowledge that. But yeah, I mean, Tri is a great yes. player. You know, he is an absolute Ah, uh, yes. Player. And also, uh, no need to take anything away from Andy. He qualified with the uh, Frenzy Orcs playing his particular style of playing, which is very good. But he's his signature uh, thing. He played honest to his uh, principles every single game. Yeah. And uh, did very well. I'm, uh, I'm uh, happy for him, you know, to see him. And so I think it's a well-deserved reward because I think now he's a. I'm not going to say a better coach because I'm, I'm not at that level. You need to analyze uh, years of play. But as a streamer, he's now. Uh, I think he's now better streamer and all that. So well-deserved uh, final, which end of the day is just another game of blood ball, and you get unlucky. You, Mr. Doom, Mr. Throw, decides to fail every single relevant. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, there I mean, is no uh, less you can do. <laughs> well, you can certainly play better. I mean, I think he pro he might yes, be kicking yes. himself a little bit with some of yes, the decisions there, there were, he made. But. There, there were some uh, decisions there that were uh, maybe who was maybe too scared of the wizard. Yeah, you know, leaving too much space between the pieces. You know, worried about the wizard and uh, things like that. And, and but that's... also the the game. Could have gone, you know, uh, Andy taking, you know, making six casts in the first three turns of each half. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, like, obviously, like, they're both good, right? That you expect them to make, like, 
pretty much the best moves at every single turn. And I think the the big turn was the one where Mr. Thrall went away. And I think what happened was, I think probably what he did was he like he did the moves one at a time, you know, and then like he realised, oh shit, I've got to do something about the ball. And then just kind of panicked, didn't see a good spot for it, you know, you know, thought about the wizard and like a high rolling fireball or something, and then thought, I'll put him over here, and I just kind of didn't think it all through, and then all of a sudden it was it was such a weak position, and then yeah, obviously try, you know, in eight times out of nine he would still been all right even after everything, right? If if he makes that dodge, he's still okay. Um, yeah, he does, he does indeed, PC. Yeah, and I think that's, I think that's a bit dodgy because it could have gone very wrong. And as it happened, it did go very wrong, but it might not have gone very wrong. You know, eight times out of nine, it wouldn't. But I still think it was. I think it, it seemed like a lack of planning and and a bit of panicking. But you know, who knows? Who knows? Pro and who the problem at this, <laughs> yes, the problem at this level of play is uh, the, the coaches are so good that if you leave, you know, one chance to be discovered. You know, well, I do this, do but there is only this shit, spot this doing it this way that I get into trouble. Your opponent already saw that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's very difficult to be able to, you know, make things confusing to coaches at this level. It's like, oh, what, what should I do here? So that they only ask, okay, I see this, I can do this, this, this. Yeah. I mean, the turn when the Trific got the skull could have, you know, if there wasn't a skull, could have blitzed with the Cheney and moved the IG4 Wolf just to base the ball. And that could have been just a one nil half time and done. Yep. Yep. There you go. Um, exactly. Yes, yeah, that's right. Exactly. Why are you doing one in eight dodges with the ball carrier? Why, why the ball carrier is rolling dice, especially when it's Mr. Throw, that you know, that you know, it's in the code of the game. I'm pretty sure it's in the code of the game. Mr. Throw will never be the hero. Yeah. And the funny thing is, it would have been fine the other way around, right? Like, if, if Try had an Edge 3 carrier, but was getting out bashed and had to push forward and then got his edge three guy based by a strength five black orc that he couldn't stop basing him, then he would have had to make the dodge. And if Tri had had, if, if Davo had had the, a movement nine edge four player, then maybe run him over there because you can just two plus away and recover, you know? So like, it. but as it happened, uh, they both failed a huge dodge and I think Tri's was basically unavoidable. And I think Davos was very avoidable. But it is what it is, isn't it, at the end of the day? It's, uh... See, I say, looking at the tiny corners there, the, the tiny bits of equity, you know, a 2% here, 3% here, that at the end adds to a lot. But yeah. so difficult to watch it. Uh, yeah. Also, it was a great success for, I mean, Trific won. Yes, congratulations, Trific, but he won. Who got more money? Andy Davos is probably saying, you know, have a few bank notes with the <laughs> subscription bombs to dry his tears, which <laughs> weren't a servant. I mean, there was like 500 people watching the final in his channel. Yeah, yeah, so maybe he's got the first round exit monkey off his back. <laughs> that's it, yes, that's it, that's it. It's a very complicated game. He played well and a very interesting, very fun team to watch because other players, you know, people qualify with teams that are deadly boring, like, you know, dwarves without uh, bleachers or anything that's like pure <laughs> Pure boredom, please kill me now. <laughs> and the, the friends yours were really funny to watch. There you go. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, but again again that was a that was a he was trying to blitz the black orc as he said uh, PC and then changed his mind when the reroll was gone, so it kinda makes sense the overall chain was probably better odds from trying doing it that way. Um, but it looked random Trific. like he was just trying to base him. Yes, terrific after the only four armor breaks for the uh, you know, it's like I mean, you have claw, you have stuff there, you know, only four armor breaks. I think you can get more armor breaks playing with uh, good elves without any skill. <laughs> yeah. You know, versus versus chaos or orcs. Yeah. But the thing is, it's hard to make the blocks, isn't it? That's like like that is the real problem against this orc team. It is devastating. Anyway, let's um, let's uh, let's wrap this up. Thank you very much, Faimir. Absolutely glorious to have you on, as always. Fantastic. Uh, a pleasure to be here and congratulations to Trific again. Unfortunately, he has to leave being known as a Necro coach. <laughs> yep, he's a two trick pony now. Lizards and Necro. Congrats to Try. Commiserations to Andy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.